Hello, welcome to lesson 13 of Blue's Boogie Woogie Piano Tutorials. Today we're looking at the second in our series of variations in the left hand or alternative left hand rhythm patterns. Um, and the, the right hand riff and left hand pattern we're going to learn today. By the end of this lesson, well, you'll be able to play this. Okay, so it's quite a simple little riff. Um, again, it's in the key of C, and we're going to have the C, F, and G positions. But the fingering um, is so we've we finger on C, thumb on the G. For this is for the C position, and you hit that twice. Then it's the middle finger on the E flat, and your forefinger on the E. So it's. Okay, so that's the the kind of you know if you can listen to that for the intonation and the uh, the timing. So okay, and then in the C position or sorry the F position, you we finger on F, thumb on C, middle finger on A flat, forefinger on A, and exactly the same two hits of this, and then. Then exactly the same pattern for G. So you've your wee finger on G, thumb on the D, two hits, and then your middle finger on B flat, fourth finger on B. So again, I would just practice the left hand on its own and moving between those three positions. So. Just practice it slowly, build it up until you're confident. Again, we're going to use four note chords um, on a kind of offbeat rhythm on the right hand. So the, for the C position, we're going to play the C6 chord, which I've used before in previous lessons. So it's your E, G, A, and C. Okay. So, so we'll try and get it slowly with the, the timing on the right hand. So, okay. So you can play about with the right hand there in the timing. Um, and those no, those chords always sound great in the right hand. And then the little riff, so you've just played. There's a wee riff. So this is a new little riff, but it sounds great. So you put your thumb on the G, and then kind of roll from the A flat to the A, four finger, middle finger. So. Then use your wee finger or whatever's comfortable for the, the C at the end. So it's okay. So just keep practicing that. And then if you want to do the right hand on its own while you get used to that. So okay. And that's quite quick in between the chords. So with the left hand. Kind of difficult to play slower. Um, then the F position, and um, again it's the four note note chord on the right hand, and it's the so again in a couple of previous lessons we've used this before, where you're just you're taking that C chord, C, E, G, A, and C, and moving the thumb down to the E flat, which is an F seven chord, um, and again it's that kind of off beat strikes in the right hand with the left hand pattern so okay 
And then again, it's that same wee riff, G, roll off the A flat to the A, and then hit the high C. So just that F part again. And then back to C. Okay, so we'll just do that bit slowly again. So going from the C to the F position and back to the C. So. I'd slide off the B flat onto the F, the B, and the D. So we're just literally hitting two strikes in that right hand with the. Okay, sorry I did that wrong the first time there, but. Back to the F. On. So do that again. And then back to the C. And then a wee ending um, is just G on the left hand with F and G in the right hand. And then again, so it's G, F and G, and then the second time hit the low. G in the left hand as well, so you've got octave in the left hand with these with the F and G in the right. So, so that's a good simple wee turn around or way to end that kind of phrase. So that's it. We'll just play it through uh, once slowly. Keep practicing again this left hand. Go back to lesson twelve, and and then just keep practicing all those variations in the left hand, uh, and you just they'll start to click and just. You'll not have to think about them. Um, so we'll play through this whole little piece once slowly again. So. So that's happy days. You've learned a second variation in the left hand. Um, hope you've enjoyed this and you're continually adding just more and more right hand riffs and left hand patterns and you'll get more and more confident playing blues and boogie away. Hope this helps. Please subscribe, comment, leave any feedback, good or bad. Um, catch up on lessons you've missed and look out for future ones. Um, so thanks for watching again.